Hi, son. Not surprised to see me, huh? Well, let me guess. The soul for money? <laughs> Terrible cliché. I expected something better from you. More what? Cash? When? Three months before you were born. Someday I'll tell you the whole story. If you live long enough. There are rumors that Lucifer put a price on your head, son. What about Kristen? They're tracking you. Don't worry about her. I've got friends, too. You? Friends? Yeah. Life and death ones. Look, I came here for a reason. You want me to help you? I don't need your fucking help. All I want is info. Can you explain to me what I am? Or more like, what I've become? If the prophecy is true, you're the one that can change how the eternal war between angels and demons will look like. It all depends on your decision. Will you choose the way of a savior and shield the Earth from the invasion of hellish forces, or will you become a destroyer and unleash hell here, cutting the heavens off? Tell me, have you made your choice? So I say yes, we live. I say no, we die. Bullshit. Don't tell me you believe in this. I wish it was that simple. There's also Lucifer's child involved. <laughs> Lucy has a baby. Planned or accidental. There's no time for your stupid jokes. Just realize the consequences of your decision. I've already made my decision. I'm not joining either side. And how are you going to deal with the small fact of being an executor now? I know a guy. Muriel. You might have heard of him. Jesus, kid. You're not playing around. Okay. But you need to find him first. He chose his own way, but he's still the most powerful executor in existence. He could be your bargaining chip when talking to Lucifer. Do you know where to find him? <laughs> no one does. That's his secret. Everybody wants to find him, just like you. The angels have been tracking his blood for quite some time now. His blood? Every executor, while signing a pact, leaves a few drops of blood. You dropped one, so did Muriel in his time. Anyone who has it can use it as a form of tracking device to pinpoint the exact location of the donor. So, the angels found it? Not exactly. They were looking for it, and then they stopped. If you're trying to not choose sides, you should meet Gabriel and talk to her. I already did. It got pretty intense. She's an angel, son. She can't harbor a grudge for long. Thanks. It doesn't matter now. We're gonna burn in hell anyway. You have to leave. They're here. Let's get out of here. Yeah! 
to get out of it somehow. Time's the charm. Come on! I need to get to my car, and I'll be out of here.
chair. You think a chair can stop angels? I chose to come here. I need to talk to you. And why should I not kill you where you stand? You have desecrated my home, killed a great many of my angels. Why would I speak with you? Well, one, I'm getting more powerful, so don't think you can take me down easily. Two, well, I got a proposition for you. You've rejected my proposal. I'm not accepting yours. I need Muriel's blood. How's that an offer? It's a hell of an offer. If I get it, your brother down below is denied it. We are no longer looking for it. Yeah, I heard that. Why? You angels lost your nerve? No, you cretin. It's hidden beyond our reach. And that's where I come in. It's much better for everyone if I handle this. All right. I'll tell you what we know. Muriel's blood is hidden in hell. He planted it in the very heart of the abyss. There's a tower there. It's heavily guarded, and the only way to reach it is to enter through a special demonic portal. Are you powerful enough? The souls of your angels have given me strength. Come closer. I want his blood. You need to focus on the marked spot. 